from Godwindso, Abuja. A civil society organization, the Citizens' Initiative for Security Awareness, CISA, has demanded the immediate release of detained former National Security Advisor, NSA, Col. Sambo Dajaki, RTD, by the federal government. Director of Mobilization for the group, Yuaka Hefu, who made the demand at a media briefing, in Abuja, on Thursday, regretted that Dajaki remained the only public officer in the custody of government even after he had been granted bail by four high courts in the corruption changes brought against him by the federal government. The group specifically pleaded with President Muhammadu Buhari as the head of the democratic government to intervene in the unlawful detention saga by ordering the release of the detainee. Ahefu lamented that the detention of Dajaki was worrisome and disturbing not only to the Nigerian people but the international community because there is no single court order or warrant of arrest to justify the action of government against the former NSA who has been in the custody since December 29, 2015. Besides, the group also called on well-meaning Nigerians to prevail on government to allow the rule of law flow in the trial of the ex-NSA in the interest of justice. With the members of CISA have noted with grave concern, the continuous illegal detention of the former National Security Advisor, Col Sambo Dajaki, RTD. As a matter of fact, Friday, December 29, 2017 will make it exactly two years that he was arrested and detained on the orders of the federal government. The reason adduced for his arrest and detention was that he misappropriated funds while in office as the National Security Advisor, he was also accused of illegal possession of firearms, 24 hours after leaving office. As a foremost civil society group that has always stood behind and canvassed public support for the Nigerian government and its military in their fight against terror, CISA would like to strongly counsel the government against further detention of the erstwhile NSA. Without prejudice to the case in court or the charges against him, CISA recalls that bold initiatives and success stories were also recorded during his tenure as the NSA. These among others include, the formation of Multinational Joint Task Force, MNJTF, which helped to muster the support of neighboring countries in the war on terror, the launching of the National Counter-Terrorism Strategy, ACTIST, as the soft approach to counter violent extremism. These bold initiatives which has been sustained till date, are geared towards knowing the root causes of terrorism understanding the problem of terrorism and finding appropriate and lasting solution. Yes, those charges against him are infractions of the law and we are not holding brief for him if he is found guilty but none of them are ubilable treasonable offences that should warrant the flagrant flouting of over four court orders to release him on bail. We recall that Justice Adeta Kubo Adamola and Justice Mohamed of the Federal High Court as well as Justice Baba Yusuf and Justice Peter Afam of the FCT High Courts, had considered the merit of his applications and granted him bail. In the same vein, the Ekawa's Court of Justice, after listening to the case, ordered for his immediate release with compensation of N15 million for the unlawful and illegal detentions.